Hello everyone, this is challenging math problem number 5. We're going to be solving for log 2 and log 5 in terms of k in this equation. So let's go ahead and get started. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to use the relationship between log 5 and log 2 here. So I'm going to start by writing log 10, which is equal to 1. We're in base 10, right? And then I'm going to write the 10 as 5 times 2. And if I split it up using the rule log 5 plus log 2 is going to equal 1. So I'm going to be using that kind of relationship in our uh, solution here. And this allows me actually to write down uh, one of these in terms of the other one. So because these two quantities are related. So what I can actually go ahead and do is, uh, for example, I can write log 5 as 1 minus log 2, right? And then I can go ahead and substitute that here. And that gives me 1 minus log 2 multiplied by log 2 is equal to k with that type of association. And if you go ahead and distribute here, we'll get log 2 minus log 2 quantity squared equals k. Okay. And this is going to be a quadratic equation in log 2. So let's go ahead and put everything on the right-hand side. So it's going to look like log 2 squared minus log 2 plus k is equal to 0. Now, I'm going to be solving for this equation because my goal is to find log 2 in terms of k. And this actually gives me what I need. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, designate log 2 as u so that I can use substitution here. And this equation is going to give me u squared minus u plus k is equal to zero. So this is a quadratic equation. And obviously, quadratic equations have two solutions normally, right? Especially with the parameter k, we expect to get two different solutions. But if log 2 is one of the solutions, then what's the other solution, right? You might be asking. And uh, the answer is kind of simple. Uh, the answer is log 5. Why? Because if you look at this as a quadratic equation, it has two roots. Let's say those roots are u1 and u2. And from Vieta, u1 plus u2 is going to be positive 1. And we know that uh, one of the roots is log 2. And if you solve for u2 here, you're going to get u2 is equal to 1 minus log 2, which is going to equal log 5. Because uh, we already know that log 2 and log 5 add up to 1 from here. We just use that fact. So basically, by solving this quadratic equation, we're finding both of the solutions in terms of k. So that's pretty much what we have to do here. So if we solve for u using the quadratic equation so, or some other method, it's going to be negative b. b is negative 1 here. So negative b is going to be positive 1 plus minus the square root of the discriminant, which is b squared minus 4ac, b is negative 1, so b squared is going to be 1 minus 4a, a is 1, c is k, so it's going to be 4k all over 2a, which is 2. So we got two solutions here, but here's the million dollar question. Which one is log 5 and which one is log 2? So we're going to find out now. If you go ahead and write these separately, u1, let's say I go with the positive version, 1 plus the square root of 1 minus 4k divided by 2. And let's say u2 is 1 minus the square root of 1 minus 4k divided by 2. Now, we do know that log 5 is definitely greater than log 2 because log in base 10 is an increasing function. If you have a larger x value, the y value is also going to be larger. Okay? Therefore, uh, between these two solutions, the positive one is going to be the log 5 and the negative version is going to be the log 2. So that's going to be the answer because we were trying to solve for log 2 and log 5 in terms of k and those are the solutions. Thank you for watching. Please uh, remember to subscribe and feel free to comment. Let me know what you think. I hope you enjoyed the video. See you guys in the next video. Have a good one. Bye-bye.